Stern, the commissioner emeritus of the NBA. And um, we will talk about that quite a bit. But, you know, Alan Hahn said it on the show before our show. He might be, probably is the greatest commissioner of any sport in history. And I, I, I read all these stories about him uh, over the last day. And there was one that jumped out at me. You know, the, he took the NBA global and he kind of cleaned up the NBA because when he when he became commissioner of the NBA, I think nine of eleven of their past NBA final games were on at eleven thirty on tape delay on CBS. Right. Wow. Can you imagine uh, that? Ele- can, and, and this is this is still when Magic and Bird were in the league. Everybody thinks that you know they helped clean up the league and they made it big again. Their their games were on tape delay. So David Stern, when he took over as the commissioner, he started taking VHS tapes and sending them to people that he knew in China so that they could be exposed to what basketball was. And that opened up an entire new revenue stream for the NBA. And they are probably the most global brand of any big sport. It's, it's, I think it's basketball, it's hockey, it's football, and baseball's trailing uh, on the backside. And they're trying to make, you know... Obviously, strides with the London right. games and all that, but he opened up um, just a, a portal of revenue for the NBA. And also, he realized something that Bowie Kuhn didn't realize, that even Pete Orzel didn't realize. And that is, is that the key is to market the players, make the players the star, not the game, the players. Now, in football, it's hard to have helmets on. Baseball, they didn't really do that that much. Mm. They didn't do that that much because they were always fighting the union. David Stern realized the guys, those guys, those are the stars. They're allowed to market their brand. He did some things that rub people the wrong way. Every interaction that I ever had with him personally was always pleasant, but he was tough. You knew that when you asked him a question, you better hurt your facts because he'd come right back at you. This was a really, really smart man, and he was in good health, 77 years old, had a brain aneurysm while he was having lunch in Manhattan, and he passed away yesterday. Yeah, it's just amazing life, and he deserves a tremendous amount of credit for where this sport is right now. And in some places in this country, it's number two. I know baseball's fighting that, but in certain areas, when you look at the television ratings and the popularity, that it could be the second biggest sport in this country, and it was unthinkable. You know, the finals on tape delay. You can't even wrap your mind around something yeah. like that, right? And it would be between him and Pete Rozelle, because both of them were innovators. Both of them made their sports monsters. But you're right, that sport was broken. They had a massive drug problem, you know, games on tape delay, and he was able to build the sport into where it is today. It is a global sport, and it, immensely the, popular. And it's the most global sport, you know, and, and specifically that, that story, Michael, about sending tapes to China, and then you think about what then later ends up happening with Yao Ming and where we are how direct an impact he had on that specific part of it, which is so much money for them. And, and, and also, how about the talent on the court, Peter? If not for the global expansion, there's no Luka Doncic. Yeah. There's none of these guys, these great foreign players. It just isn't. So he opened up that, too. And if yeah. you think, and there's a lot of people that do not like him, but considering that we're a day removed from a winter classic that included the Dallas Stars and the Nashville Predators, who do you think is responsible for Gary Bettman. David Stern. Absolutely. You know, uh, and, you know, he he was under his wing and was uh, learned from him and, and became the commissioner he is based on what he was able to be educated by uh, the, the greatness of um, David Stern and, and be able to grow the NHL in the way that the NBA is, is trying to grow itself and, and to build. And so he's got a tremendous reach in all of sports. And, you know, when I heard the news, we were actually uh, on the air when it kind of trickled down about the brain, brain yeah. aneurysm, and we were just kind of hoping that he'd be able to recover from it. Unfortunately, he was unable to. 